as we walk with the Lord, it's amazing how that other people are impacted simply because we have been with Jesus. They notice because we have spent time with the Lord and we've been filled with His Spirit. Hi, I'm Craig Fritchley, pastor of Calvary Apostolic Tabernacle with today's devotional. And God wants to fill you with His Spirit and then impact others through your life. That's why Jesus said in John chapter 7 that it would be like an river of living water that the spirit would flow into you and then it would flow out of you to other people that it would impact them as you walk with the Lord so keep walking with the Lord today other people will notice in Acts chapter 3 Peter and John were just going into the temple and there was a man there that was lame they he asked for money Peter and John didn't have any money but they had better than that He said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have given to thee in the name of Jesus Christ, rise up and walk. And as the Lord empowered them, he was able to be healed that day. Peter and John didn't do the healing. God did the healing. They were just the vessels that were going into the temple. The religious leaders didn't like that. It caused an uproar. So they called Peter and John in and they questioned them about all these things that happened. And Peter and John stood their ground. They didn't have a lot of education. They didn't have time to prepare. But they told them, verse 12 of Acts chapter 4, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. The religious leaders couldn't believe this. The Bible says they took note that they were unlearned and ignorant men but they had been with Jesus. They noticed these men are walking with the Lord. These men have a relationship with the Lord. And we don't like it. So they told them, don't be teaching or preaching anymore in Jesus' name. And they released them. But they could not deny what was happening in the early church because individuals were walking with the Lord. We're in the end times right now. And God wants us to walk with Him more than ever before so that through our lives, others will be impacted for the gospel. The kingdom will be multiplied because we take time to be with the Lord. So every day, I encourage you, talk to the Lord. Listen to the Lord. Read His Word. Get to the house of God. Hear what the Lord has to say through the ministry and also fellowship with others of like precious faith. And let God fill your life, and then it will impact others. God's called us to be a witness. All witnesses do is just tell what they know, what they've seen and what they've heard. And that's all God wants you to do, is tell what you've seen and heard. And so get with the Lord, and then be that witness. Allow His light and His life to shine through you to others, so that they will be impacted. Because people will notice if you have been with Jesus. You don't have to put a bumper sticker on your car. You don't have to have a fancy logo. All you've got to do is have a walk with God and people will notice. So glad that you're with us today. We hope you share these with others. You can leave a comment or a question below. Check out our live streams on our Facebook page of our services. It's just a privilege to be a part of the kingdom of God. And we want it just to spill out and splash all over so that other people can find their own relationship with Jesus Christ. God bless.